Hello, hello. It's the first ever voiceover, Oliver. Uh, unless you count the Voltron video. <laughs> so there's nothing too exciting right now because in case you somehow missed it, <laughs> I recently moved out of state. So I'm still figuring out how exactly I want to set up right here. What you're seeing is me stacking my camera on top of many books on my dining room table. <laughs> so yeah, I can't do anything too crazy, but I would still like to put content out. So here you go. Here's me sketching. <laughs> I decided to start off by drawing Andy, who's one of my OCs, because it's very simple. And yeah. <laughs> I'd like to do more traditional stuff like this, and just stuff like sketching in my sketchbook. But it's really difficult to like, set this up, so I don't think it'll happen too too often. It's probably going to be mostly digital stuff for a while. Just because this is so much work to <laughs> get this kind of footage. And then, if I look digital, I can film pretty much anywhere as long as I have my laptop and my drawing tablet. So yeah, like I said, I'm drawing Andy, who's my main OC out of all my other OCs. I'm not going to talk too much about them because I wanted to make a whole video just dedicated to different OCs because after my sketchbook tours a lot of you seem really interested in that. So I'm definitely going to do that. I'm just not exactly sure when but it's definitely going to happen. Don't worry. For these pictures I didn't really use references because it was just kind of a chill sketching thing. I don't want to put too much thought into it. Really, I'm just getting back into filming videos that aren't sketchbook tours. <laughs> so, yeah, that's what this is. The only thing I really used a reference for was the chair, and that's because I was at my dining room, so I had many chairs around me. <laughs> I don't know how many of you guys like these kind of videos where it's just someone kind of sketching. But I always like this, so I would like to do more stuff like this, but like I said, it's kind of difficult to do that at the moment. But also, that being said, I want to do a lot more voiceover stuff. So if you have any recommendations for topics you want to hear me talk about, whether it's art related or not, feel free to let me know, because I'll probably talk about it. I do have topics in mind that I want to talk about, but I don't have that many. <laughs> So if there's anything in particular you want me to talk about or something that you want advice on, let me know. Because I'd like to make more sketchbook stuff, but at like sketchbook tours, kind of like this, because a lot, I know a lot of people like the way my sketchbooks look. So I guess I could go through a video about how I generally fill my sketchbooks if you guys would like that. So let me know. And here I'm drawing Andy again. <laughs> And he's a really good go-to character for me if I don't know what I want to draw or if I just want to draw something simple. I did draw kind of a background on this. It's Andy sitting at a table. Not really doing much, but it definitely would have turned out better if I used references. But like I said, I just kind of wanted to do something really chill and kind of just really test out what I can film. Because going into this, I knew it wouldn't be the best video I ever filmed. Because currently I don't have like a desk or anything and my room has really bad lighting so I'm still trying to figure out how I would film like traditional speed paints and stuff that aren't art videos. So yeah, please bear with me throughout this entire process. I do kind of wish I used references because I feel like this picture had some nice potential. Like if you look at the flowers, it's just a bunch of scribbles and not really much is going on. But you can tell that it's a pot of flowers, at least I hope you can tell it's a pot of flowers. <laughs> and like with the headphones, I didn't really have a reference or anything, I just kind of went for it. Generally I do use a lot of references, but you wouldn't be able to tell by this picture. Because <laughs> a lot of my life, I remember people would tell me that I needed to always draw stuff from my head. But now, like, that I'm an older artist, I know that that's kind of stupid. So I try to draw references as much as possible because it'll really help my art. And any artist ever will tell you how important it is to use references, which I didn't do this time. <laughs> I'm a professional artist, I swear I use references. Yeah, the supplies I'm using is really simple. This sketchbook is a Canson um, 
thing. <laughs> it's a Canson XL mixed media sketchbook, that basic one that everybody has. And then this is just a simple ballpoint pen. It's a Bic round stick grip, I believe is what it's called. But yeah, nothing fancy at all. I like to do my sketching in pen mostly because I feel like pencil holds me back. There's pros and cons to both pencils and pens. My preference just tends to be pen. This brush pen that I'm using right now is, I forget exactly what the brand is, I think it's like Le Plume or something, but I just kind of found it at Joann's and they were just there <laughs> and I had a coupon so I figured why not and it has like six different colors and they're all generally like a light pastel except for this one. <laughs> so I like to use them in my sketchbook, it's just a fun way to add like some bright colors. And then this one is a Micron brush pen which is just something I found at Michael's and decided to pick up. I don't generally use them for like lining, but I do like to add like some heavy shading like you see here in my sketchbook. But right here, I'm coloring in a sketch that I did traditionally, but I'm coloring it digitally. Uh, before I put it into this program, I actually put it into Photoshop and adjusted the picture a little bit just to add some higher contrast and make the picture look a little bit brighter because I don't have the best lighting situations to work with in my house right now. Uh, this girl is a picture of a girl that I found on Pinterest. I used it to copy her exactly, but I, for the colors, I kind of just did what I remember it looked like. So the colors might be a bit off, but that's perfectly fine because really I just kind of wanted to work on realism. I don't normally do realism all that often, but every now and again I get these really strong urges that I just really want to do realism. I'm not quite sure why, but this is the product of that. So if you've seen my other digital speed paints, you would notice that I'm using a different program. That's because my computer kind of sucks. And for some reason, Medibang, which is the program I would use before, started acting up and it just for some reason was no longer compatible with my tablet i don't know what happened it's definitely a problem with my computer because my computer is really not the best <laughs> so i was trying to figure out different programs and stuff that would work out well and this one is sketchbook i believe autodesk sketchbook it was something that i found and the ratings were pretty good. A lot of people like this program and it is now free, which is something that I can get behind. <laughs> so that's the program that I'm using. I'm still definitely getting used to it. It's very different from Medibang. I tried out other programs. I tried out Clip Studio. I tried out Photoshop and I tried out Fire Alpaca. And Fire Alpaca was the one that worked the second best with my computer and my tablet and photoshop worked the worst just because it's literally too advanced for my computer like my computer cannot handle that shit oh my god so yeah i'm still getting used to this program so if things are a little messy please forgive me i'm still trying to figure out how i want my digital art to look because if you look at my digital art before the shading is very harsh i guess you could say i'm really bad at technical terms of art but i wanted to try and like blend out my shading a bit more which i guess is another good thing that this is a more realistic thing i don't want it to be like super blended because i do have a problem with over blending or at least i did i'm not really sure anymore but i wanted to try and get out of that that being said if anybody has any tips for digital art please let me know i'm pretty much a noob at this point <laughs> but yeah you've probably seen this picture already if you follow me on instagram and if you're not then go follow me on instagram and here we are at the end of the video, so thank you for watching. I'm sorry if it wasn't anything too spectacular. Like I said, I'm still trying to figure out a lot of stuff. But I do have quite a few videos planned, so hopefully I can stay on schedule and get those out. Let me know if you like this more kind of like a laid-back content, and I'll see what I can do as far as making more. Thank you for watching, and bye!